Okay, people, now I'm on the very scary situation here. Blind guy with a meat cutter. <sighs> Frightening. I'm freaking out. <laughs> it's scary. It's crazy. I was looking over there at the camera because it's exciting, though, isn't it? I'm worried. Relying people should not break every machinery. Get the way of it now. You know, people, I've never used a speed slicer in my life. I don't know if I like it. Oh, I bet the roast beef looks good, though. I actually had to cut it in half because it was big. So, um, you know. I wanted to get ketchup as a prop, but my camera person didn't think it was such a good idea. How does a blind person even do this? I don't know. All this for dinner. Just because I had to do something fancy. Everybody should have a meat slicer. You get it nice and thin. And it makes it really good because tomorrow night you can have hot roast beef and fries with gravy. Okay, people, so you get the gist of this. So, I don't want to videotape the whole thing because that's ridiculous. I have to get out my remakins. Remington. Condiment dishes. I'll do a couple more passes since I'm having fun now. Actually, you missed before this. I pulled the thing and the roast beef almost flew off. And a lot of you probably just don't like watching this because I'm telling you. It's frightening. Okay, so I'll stop with that. Where are you? Where's the camera? Choo -choo. Oh, scary. So I'll finish up with this and then I'll come back and do the gravy. And then we'll have the final product here on Cooking Without Cooking. See you in a bit.